Hello everyone. Thank you for clicking on my video of my review of the one of the cheapest hot tents on Amazon and also the cheapest hot tent stove on Amazon. I did a overnighter last night and it got down to around I think it was 12 degrees. I'll drop a screenshot right of the thermometer that I have. And but I'd say in the tent it got down, it warmed up to around 32 with the stove. But one of the biggest complaints I do have about this stove is the amount of smoke that it produces. I don't know if it was something that I was doing wrong, maybe because of the wood was so wet and it was drying out as I put it in there, or I, I just don't know. But it, I guess that could also go along with the other, one of the complaints I have of the tent. The ventilation isn't very good inside of it. It kind of gets trapped up at the top and I have both vent holes open. I'll show you guys those in a minute. And it wasn't able to escape through there. I don't know. It just got trapped. So I had to op open both doors, create like a, it flow through. But other than that, I'd say it, this tent is very well made. But for a 160 bucks, I want to say, or 70 maybe roughly. I, I don't remember how much I got it for. I'll leave links to the stove and the tent in the description. But um, for my sleeping setup, here, let me show you guys I had a wool blanket up on the very top to keep me warm it was actually folded so it could have wrapped around it and then I had my summer like sleeping bag line like liner and I just wrapped this around my head to keep all the heat in and then I had a Coleman sleeping bag oh, I think this is a 20 or 15 degree maybe and then I had a sleeping bag liner this is like for the summer but I thought it'd make it warmer and it made it pretty toasty in here and then i just have a little extend accent i don't know how to pronounce it pillow right here that i got from cabela's i think around 20 bucks um i really like the pillow but it is a little a little firm it looks like it's actually leaking air but it is a little firm that's why it's so deflated because i don't really like the firmness of pillows but um Here's the ventilation holes that I was talking about right there. You see, I have them open. They have little flaps that fold out. I'll show you guys those here in a little bit. And here's the other one. Um, the way it really, the tent set up, you just put your pole down here in the middle and then it goes all the way up to the top and then you stake off all of the corners of where these seams are is about where the stakes are. But Here's the stove that I purchased. I'm actually using the, a Mr. Buddy heater right now. I didn't really want to start up another fire right now. I'm about to go inside after this video. So this is the stove right here. It's got like a little, I guess this is like a cooking area. You put your, I cooked some lunch. I'll drop a little picture of what I cooked yesterday. I just cooked a grilled cheese and some soup. Right here on this uh, little opening it did work. It took about 30 minutes, though, so it's a little long. It's a little real ashy. Um, but that's probably... I did have a pretty decent fire going in it, but it may just have been something I was doing. I don't know. Uh, the stove comes with, like, this little, I don't know, fire stick. It's nice. They have... The stove has these little folding things that you can put, like, your pots, pans, cups, anything really on. They don't fold really flat, but... That's something you, you, I'm sure you could just bend back up and it'd be fine. And then here's the other one, does the same thing. Um, and here is the door to the stove. It's got open, close up, middle, whatever you want to do. Uh, the glass, it comes removed. Down there. It gets real, real ashy, but that's what we expected. And then the bolts do come loose, but for 140 bucks, you can't really complain. It's a really good stove. Just the door folds all the way open. The hinges do get a little stuff, but like I said, it's a $140 stove. What can you expect? And then here's someone just in there. Yeah, so they get a little, a little stuck. But um, all around, there's a little bit of a gap right there. But I didn't see an issue with that. Like, I see some of the more expensive hot tents have like a little uh bathtub liner but i mean i guess i just put a tarp under all my bedding to keep it warm and so and it did the job so 
Uh, I just had all my little, all my, my backpack, all my stuff was in. Uh, water, some cooking water, hot chocolate. I did have a blowtorch because obviously the wood is super wet right now where I live from all the snow. And I just had to get it started somehow. But I will say that cotton balls and Vaseline, I tried that out and that worked very well. They burned for about, I want to say a minute, 15 seconds maybe. And they, they get a fire start real quick. But that's another thing I really like about the stove. It, I mean, not the stove, the tent. The tent keeps water out very well. It's snowing. I'll try to show you guys. I don't know if you can see there's snow on the tent. And now I didn't have any leakage through there. All the seams are seam taped right here. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but I did last night have some buildup of like frost up here on the window, or I mean the door there, a panel, a panel, and this panel, but nothing else. Like all the others were clear. I don't know, maybe it was just because there was so much heat over here, but yeah. So this is my, this is really the interior. I'm gonna cut here, I'm gonna show you guys the exterior now. This is the, I'm just camping in my backyard because I really wanted to try it out and I couldn't, wasn't able to go anywhere this weekend. So yeah, it kept water out very nice. It, and you know, you didn't, it brushes all the snow, brushes right off of it. Here's the first door. Right here, I'll show you guys the super. See, it doesn't catch on any fabric, and then there's Velcro to go over the zipper. One of my Velcros right here, they did pop up right here. But it was down, but that's nothing. It doesn't really matter. Here's my tarp that I had under my bed. They had a little bit of snow last night. Here's the second door. Holds open. I just have a little tiny carabiner on here and I walk over here. I clip it down to this other tent stake line right here and it holds the door open really well. Actually, I'm not gonna keep that open because it's getting you know, all over my bedding. But I just wanna show you guys that. And then right here is one of the vent holes. You can see up in there. It's got these little like I guess like posts that velcro to it and then they just go on velcro stick them in there and then you push this down out the vents closed but when you have your stove on you really want those on it's like i said it gets really smoky um the tent came with this right here it did work pretty well to keep all the water out but keep all the water out and it kept the heat in it did get a little burnt around in there but like i said it's a cheap hot tent you can't really expect all that crazy i think there's one two three four five six seven pipes that come with it and it gets it up really pretty well sorry if the camera's a little shaky my hands are kind of cold there's all these tie down points for the here's for the door there's a bunch of lines that come with it to put up there I didn't use those last night. I knew I probably wouldn't really need them. Um, let me open up this door again so I can show you guys the other one. All right, here's the other right there, other vent hole. As you can see, it goes up in there. Uh, there's another one of those little posts. Just a little Velcro. Pops in, pops down. Keep heating in. But yeah, that's my that's my lower review on the cheapest one of the cheapest hot tents and hot tent stoves on Amazon that you can get for about I want to say about I think I got everything for three hundred and one dollars. So I would definitely sorry, there's much snow coming in. I would definitely recommend this hot tent. I will leave a description a link in the description for both of the the tent and the stove i did just check it said that they're currently unavailable on amazon but i i'll try to find one that's like the exact same because a bunch of these little like chinese stoves they have like the same thing just a different i guess companies make like selling them 
but I will also leave a link for my sleeping bag and my sleeping bag liner and my pillow right here because those worked out very well last night. And this you can just get at Walmart for like 15 bucks. I don't really, it's in the summer. I might make another video for that. Um, but other than that, I would say that this tent worked out very well. My water did freeze, but that's because I had the stove off of, for a little bit. And I think it just kind of all left, all the heat all left while I was inside for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think that will do it. So like, comment, subscribe. Comment if you have any questions and you'd like to see anything else about this tent. Um, oh, another thing. I saw some reviews saying that this tent pole was weak right here on the Amazon reviews. I didn't find anything. I find that this pole is pretty decently strong. It did get stuck in the ground. The ground got a little wet. It got thawed out. But, and then I just pulled it up and it popped right out. I mean, it didn't break or anything. Um, oh, also, there's a tie-down point right there. I put a little lantern up in there. But, yeah, so thank you for watching and have a nice day.